Okay, so the next series of um, pathways we're going to do is the vestibular ocular reflex pathway and then all the associated pathways that have to do with eye reflexes. Uh, these are some of the harder pathways you're going to learn in neurology, so don't get down on yourself. Just know if you can get this, um, you really have a good grasp on brainstem anatomy and tracks in general. Um, so just you know, we'll be talking about vestibular ocular reflex, which is um, moving your eyes in the opposite direction of your head. This allows you to turn your head and still keep your eyes on a focused target. Uh, we'll talk about the saccadic pathway, which is reflexive eye movement, as well as cortically controlled saccades, which is um, purposeful eye movement. And then we're also going to retouch on the medial vestibular spinal tract, which we talked about previously, which has to do with neck and um, head-based positioning. Uh, so again, we'll run through all our structures really quickly. First of all, you'll see I have the eyes in this picture with the medial and lateral rectus tagged. Uh, we're only talking about horizontal vestibular ocular reflex in here as the vertical one gets even more complicated. This is the one you need to understand for uh, this, year, this class and also for boards. Um, here you'll notice in the cortex are frontal eye fields, which is Brodmann area 8, and can be seen in the superior and middle uh, frontal gyri. As we get into our midbrain, we have a couple structures we have to look at, so we'll have to look at our superior colliculus, which can be seen here. Uh, we'll need to know about our oculomotor nucleus, our nucleus of cranial nerve 3, and then also our MLF. And then also I have labeled out here, you can't see it on cross-section, but our mesencephalic reticular formation is located about in this area. It won't be tagged on a practical, but it is important to know its role in these pathways. Uh, once we get into the pons, then we'll be, have to identify um, the nucleus for 6 as well as the medial longitudinal fasciculus. So here's our abducens nucleus and MLF. We'll have to be able to identify the PPRF, our parapontine uh, reticular formation, and then also not located here, I've drawn in its kind of area, is the rip open cells, uh, which again are also important here. And as you can notice, they are tonically inhibiting the PPRF with glycine, as I have labeled. We'll take a look at our rostral medulla, uh, which is going to have our vestibular nuclei in it. So remember I've said previously the vestibular nuclei, you can't really discriminate on histology, but know that the medial vestibular nucleus is what's being used here. Uh, we'll also need to know about our medial longitudinal fasciculus here. And then finally, within the spinal cord, don't forget about the medial longitudinal fasciculus, which is synonymous with the medial vestibular spinal tract in this area. Okay, let's draw these bad boys. So first one we're going to start with is the vestibular ocular reflex. So again, this is if our head turns in one direction, our eyes will move in the other. So for this example, um, it is always the contralateral semicircular canal that is activating the, or a semicircular canal will activate the contralateral eye movement. So if your semicircular canal sense that you're moving left, then your right, or your eyes will deviate right. I'll show you what I mean. So we get input here from our cerebellum and our semicircular canal, which are going to pass first through this pseudo-unipolar body, which is Scarpa's ganglion. So this is the vestibular ganglion. As it moves through Scarpa's ganglion, it's going to synapse on our medial, not our lateral, vestibular nucleus. So our medial vestibular nucleus. At this point, it's going to decussate quickly and then ascend through our MLF up to our pons to innervate what is now the contralateral abducens nucleus. From this point, we know abducens activates lateral rectus, so we'll activate the lateral rectus on that side, which is going to pull this eye outwards. The sixth nerve will also, or sixth nucleus will also send a uh, fibers through, so it decussates again quickly through the contralateral MLF, which will then ascend to enter this structure, which is the um, oculomotor nucleus, or nucleus of three. So remember this is contralateral to our abducens, but actually ipsilateral to the initial signal. That will then activate medial rectus, which is controlled by the oculomotor nerve, also causing the eyes to move in that direction.